The wind howled through the barren fields as the moon cast an eerie glow upon the landscape. Silhouetted against the night sky stood the farmhouse, its weathered walls bearing witness to generations of toil and hardship. Inside, the farmer, Thomas, sat by the fireplace with his two sons, Daniel and Ethan, their faces illuminated by the flickering flames. Did you hear that? Daniel asked suddenly, his eyes darting towards the window. Thomas frowned, glancing up from his worn leather armchair. Hear what, son? Ethan's gaze followed his brother's, his brow furrowing in confusion. It sounded like laughter. Thomas exchanged a wary glance with his sons. Children's laughter? Daniel nodded, his expression tense. Yeah, but it's impossible. There are no children around here for miles. The laughter echoed through the house again, faint but unmistakable. Thomas stood up, his heart pounding with unease. Stay here, he instructed, striding towards the door. I'll go check outside. The chilly night air enveloped him as he stepped onto the porch, the sound of laughter growing louder with each passing moment. Thomas scanned the fields, his hand instinctively reaching for the rifle slung over his shoulder. But there was nothing to be seen, just the swaying stalks of corn and the rustling of leaves in the wind. Who's there? Thomas called out, his voice tinged with a mixture of fear and anger. The only response was more laughter, now seeming to come from all directions at once. Thomas's grip tightened on the rifle as he ventured further into the darkness, his senses on high alert. But no matter how hard he looked, he could find no trace of the source. Back in the farmhouse, Daniel and Ethan exchanged worried glances as they listened to their father's footsteps fade into the night. The laughter seemed to surround them now, filling the air with a chilling sense of foreboding. Ethan's hands trembled as he reached for the poker by the fireplace, his knuckles turning white with fear. What do you think it is, Dan? He whispered, his voice barely audible over the cacophony outside. Daniel shook his head, his eyes fixed on the door. I don't know, but we have to go after Dad. He might need our help. With a silent nod, Ethan followed his brother out into the darkness, the laughter echoing in their ears like a sinister chorus. They called out for their father, their voices trembling with fear, but there was no response, only the eerie silence of the night. As they ventured deeper into the fields, the laughter grew louder, closer, until it seemed to be coming from just beyond the next row of crops. Daniel's heart raced as he pushed through the dense undergrowth, his senses overwhelmed by the suffocating darkness. And then, suddenly, they saw them, shadowy figures darting between the rows, their laughter echoing through the night like the wails of lost souls. Daniel's blood ran cold as he realized what they were, not children, but something far more sinister, something that should not exist in this world. We have to get out of here, Ethan whispered, his voice quivering with terror. But before they could flee, the figures were upon them, their eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. Daniel and Ethan stumbled backwards, their hearts pounding in their chests as they struggled to comprehend the nightmare unfolding before them. And then, just as suddenly as it had begun, the laughter stopped. The figures vanished into the darkness, leaving Daniel and Ethan alone in the silent fields. Trembling with fear, they turned and ran, their minds reeling with the impossibility of what they had witnessed. Back at the farmhouse, Thomas waited anxiously for his sons to return, his heart heavy with dread. When they finally stumbled through the door, pale and shaken, he gathered them close, thankful that they were safe. What did you see out there? He asked, his voice barely above a whisper. But Daniel and Ethan could only shake their heads in disbelief, their minds still haunted by the memory of the laughter in the fields, a sound they knew they would never forget for as long as they lived. As days passed, the events of that fateful night lingered in the minds of the farmer and his sons like a lingering fog, casting a shadow over their once peaceful lives. They tried to rationalize what they had seen and heard, attributing it to exhaustion or tricks of the imagination brought on by the isolation of their rural existence. But deep down, they knew that something sinister lurked in the darkness of their fields, something beyond their understanding. Night after night, the laughter returned, each time growing louder and more insistent, as if beckoning them to the edge of madness. Thomas, Daniel, and Ethan barricaded themselves inside the farmhouse, the walls providing little comfort against the unseen horrors that lurked outside. Desperate for answers, Thomas sought the counsel of the old village priest, a man rumored to possess knowledge of the arcane and the supernatural. With a heavy heart, he recounted the events that had plagued his family, hoping against hope for some semblance of understanding. The priest listened in silence, his brow furrowed in concern, before speaking in a voice as ancient as the stones themselves. There are forces in this world, Thomas, that defy explanation, forces that prey on the living and the dead alike. Your fields are cursed, haunted by the spirits of children long forgotten by time. 
Thomas recoiled in horror, the weight of the priest's words sinking like a stone in his gut. But what can we do? He pleaded, his voice trembling with fear. The priest's gaze hardened, his eyes burning with an otherworldly intensity. There is only one way to break the curse, he intoned, his voice echoing with the weight of centuries. You must confront the spirits that haunt your land, face them head on, and banish them from this world forever. With a heavy heart, Thomas and his sons ventured once more into the fields, armed with nothing but their courage and the knowledge that their lives hung in the balance. The laughter surrounded them, mocking and taunting, as they pushed deeper into the heart of the darkness. And then, at last, they saw them, the spectral figures of children, their faces twisted in agony, their eyes pleading for release from their eternal torment. With a strength born of desperation, Thomas and his sons confronted the spirits, their voices ringing out in a chorus of defiance against the darkness. With a blinding flash of light, the curse was broken, the spirits vanishing into the night like shadows scattered by the dawn. Exhausted but victorious, Thomas, Daniel, and Ethan returned to the farmhouse, the weight of their ordeal lifting like a shroud from their weary shoulders. As the first rays of dawn illuminated the horizon, Thomas looked out upon his fields with a newfound sense of hope, knowing that the darkness that had once threatened to consume them had been banished from their lives forever. And though the memory of the laughter would linger in their minds for years to come, they would face the future with courage and determination, knowing that they had triumphed over the forces of evil that had sought to destroy them. In the days that followed, the farmer and his sons worked tirelessly to rebuild their lives, the memory of their harrowing ordeal fading with each passing sunrise. But despite their best efforts to move on, a lingering unease settled over the farmhouse like a shroud, a constant reminder of the darkness that had once threatened to consume them. As the seasons turned and the crops began to flourish once more, whispers spread throughout the village of the farmer's brush with the supernatural. Some dismissed it as mere superstition, while others spoke in hushed tones of the evil that lurked within the fields. But Thomas, Daniel, and Ethan remained resolute, refusing to let fear dictate their lives. They tended to their crops with renewed vigor, their bond as father and son strengthened by the trials they had faced together. Yet, despite their best efforts to put the past behind them, the laughter continued to haunt their dreams, a constant reminder of the darkness that lurked just beyond the edge of their vision. And then, one fateful night, as the moon hung low in the sky, and the fields lay bathed in silver light, the laughter returned once more. Thomas and his sons awoke to the sound of children's voices echoing through the farmhouse, their hearts sinking with dread as they realized that the nightmare was far from over. With trembling hands, they armed themselves with whatever weapons they could find, stealing themselves for another confrontation with the forces that had plagued them for so long. But as they ventured into the darkness, they were met not with spectral figures, but with something far more sinister, a horde of twisted creatures, their eyes gleaming with malice as they descended upon the farmhouse like a swarm of locusts. With a roar of defiance, Thomas and his sons fought back against the horde, their minds clouded with fear and rage. But no matter how many creatures they struck down, more seemed to take their place, their numbers overwhelming the farmhouse like a flood. In the chaos of battle, Daniel and Ethan were separated from their father, their cries drowned out by the cacophony of screams and laughter that filled the air. With mounting dread, they searched desperately for Thomas, their hearts pounding with terror as they realized that he was nowhere to be found. And then, just as all hope seemed lost, a blinding light illuminated the darkness, casting the creatures into shadow as a figure emerged from the heart of the storm. It was the old village priest, his eyes burning with an otherworldly fire as he faced down the horde with a strength born of centuries. With a wave of his hand, the priest banished the creatures back into the darkness from whence they came, their twisted forms vanishing like smoke in the wind. And as the dust settled and the night fell silent once more, Thomas, Daniel, and Ethan emerged from the ruins of the farmhouse, their hearts heavy with grief for the father they had lost. But though Thomas was gone, his legacy lived on in the bravery and resilience of his sons, who vowed to honor his memory by rebuilding the farmhouse and reclaiming the fields that had been tainted by darkness. And as they looked out upon the horizon, they knew that their journey was far from over, for the laughter of children would forever echo in their dreams, a reminder of the evil that lurked just beyond the edge of their reality. In the wake of the devastation wrought upon their home and the loss of their beloved father, Daniel and Ethan found themselves grappling with a sense of overwhelming grief and uncertainty. With no other family to turn to and the village shunning them due to the perceived curse that had plagued their land, they were left to fend for themselves in a world that seemed increasingly hostile and unforgiving. Determined to honor their father's memory and reclaim their livelihood, 
Daniel and Ethan set out to rebuild the farmhouse and restore the fields to their former glory. Armed with little more than sheer determination and the tools salvaged from the wreckage, they toiled day and night, their muscles aching and their spirits tested by the enormity of the task ahead. But as they worked, a sense of unease lingered in the air, a constant reminder of the darkness that had once threatened to consume them. The laughter of children echoed in their dreams, haunting them like a specter from the past, and they knew that their journey was far from over. In the midst of their struggle, Daniel and Ethan received an unexpected visitor, a stranger cloaked in shadows, his eyes gleaming with an otherworldly light. He spoke of prophecies and ancient curses, of powers beyond mortal comprehension that sought to tear the fabric of reality asunder. At first, Daniel and Ethan were hesitant to trust the stranger, wary of the secrets he carried and the darkness that seemed to cling to his every word. But as he revealed the truth behind their father's death and the sinister forces that had plagued their land for generations, they realized that their destinies were intertwined with a fate far greater than they could have ever imagined. With the stranger's guidance, Daniel and Ethan embarked on a perilous journey to uncover the source of the curse that had haunted their family for centuries. Through forgotten ruins and treacherous landscapes, they ventured deeper into the heart of darkness, their resolve tested at every turn by malevolent spirits and ancient evils that sought to devour their souls. But with each trial they faced, Daniel and Ethan grew stronger, their bond as brothers forged in the crucible of adversity. Together, they confronted the horrors of their past and the demons that lurked within their own hearts, their courage shining like a beacon in the darkest of nights. And as they stood on the precipice of oblivion, facing the ultimate challenge that would determine the fate of their world, Daniel and Ethan knew that they were not alone. For in the face of unimaginable evil, they had found strength in each other and in the memory of the father who had taught them to never give up hope, no matter how dire the circumstances. With a final, defiant roar, Daniel and Ethan banished the darkness from their land once and for all, their victory heralded by the rising sun as it cast its golden light upon the fields that had borne witness to their trials and triumphs. And though their journey had been fraught with peril and loss, Daniel and Ethan emerged from the shadows as heroes, their spirits unbroken and their hearts filled with hope for a future free from the laughter of children that had once haunted their dreams. As the morning sun bathed the land in its warm embrace, Daniel and Ethan stood amidst the remnants of their struggle, the weight of their journey heavy upon their shoulders, yet their spirits lifted with the promise of a new beginning. The stranger who had guided them vanished into the dawn, leaving behind only a whisper of gratitude and a sense of profound gratitude. With determination burning bright within them, Daniel and Ethan set about rebuilding their home and their lives, their hands working tirelessly to mend what had been broken. They planted new crops in the once barren fields, breathing life back into the soil that had been tainted by darkness. And as the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, the laughter of children faded into distant memory, replaced by the gentle hum of life returning to the land. But even as they worked to rebuild, Daniel and Ethan knew that their journey was far from over. The stranger's words lingered in their minds, a reminder of the ancient evils that still lurked in the shadows, waiting to strike when least expected. With each passing day, they remained vigilant, keeping watch over their land and their loved ones, knowing that the darkness could return at any moment. Yet they also found solace in the bonds of family and the strength of their resolve, drawing courage from the memories of their father and the trials they had overcome together. And though the road ahead was fraught with uncertainty, Daniel and Ethan faced it with heads held high their hearts filled with hope and the knowledge that no matter what challenges lay in store, they would face them together, as brothers united in purpose and determination. For as long as the sun rose in the east and set in the west, the legacy of Thomas, Daniel, and Ethan would endure, a testament to the power of love, courage, and the unbreakable spirit of those who dare to stand against the darkness and emerge victorious. And in the end, it was not the trials they faced or the battles they won that defined them, but the strength of their hearts and the bonds that bound them together, forever and always, in the light of a new dawn. Like, subscribe, and click on notifications that will allow you to stay up to date with the news and not miss videos from the channel, where there will be many more horror stories.